Boom! What up? Solar Renek can only hear back doing some more League of Legends action. We are playing some lethal tempo in the top lane. Some top lane Bane. Give me that. Not bad. Three for three already. Off to a good start. Just how I like it. Flawless CSing. Uh, we're going for a lethal tempo build. We're going to break the attack speed cap. We're going to break the internet with his attack speed. Oh my god. That damage though. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped a Q yet. Oh. Gotta get back. Don't wanna miss minions. Nice. So, Rage Blade. Play the Room King, Rage Blade. Oh, I don't have a ward. That's super bad, actually. Overextended versus Nunu. Woo! Yeah. They get one slam. I'm gonna pop potion here. I wanna be high HP. The gank can happen from anywhere from now to 2.30. Or 3.30, excuse me. So, from like 2.40 to 3.30 is when I'm really expecting this new new to come. This guy keeps throwing the minions, though. I'm kind of giving up a lot of minions to sit back here. All these range ones that I could have gotten. I'm getting EXP, but no uh, gold. I'm just going playing around having no ward. That ward I put up here is really bad. Because I... Alright, there we go. And that's what we were playing around. Good try. Almost made it happen. I'm gonna help him get this real quick. Maybe he'll let me have it. Oh shit. That was a really dumb play by him. There was no way that would ever have worked out well. Like, even if he steals it, you're running in to die. I wish I got one of these kills because I kind of gave up a little bit to help. But. I'll be a team player. I don't mind. Bloop. Let's grab this. I'm gonna TP back. He should walk up in queue. I can tumble out of it unless he's perfect with it. Hmm. Whew. Big chunk. And his wave slow pushing to me. And I can heal up any of the damage that he does to me. Whereas he... Well, he's got decent sustain. He just doesn't have the corruption pot. Alright, I don't want the wave to get too big, though. So I gotta try and trim a little bit as it shoves. Oh. Whew. Poke. Ooh. Nice shield. Things like 800 health. Big chunk. Back in the bush. Keep this wave slow pushing. Want to clear a few of the minions. Just don't want it to be over shoving. That's all. If it gets too big, it'll be hard to clear. And then he can just like Q once. Use the shield. So I can't really trade back. And I won't be able to hold like 15 minions. No point in trading there. Force out the bone plating, walk away. You can always watch the cooldown for it right here. It's a 45 second cooldown. So you want to be trading around that. Especially as a melee top laner. Because most of the melee trades are like all-in heavy. So you can try and poke that before the all-in trade. It's really good. I mean, as a ranged champion, there's literally no excuse to ever go in and fight when it's on cooldown. You always need to pop it beforehand. Oh. You want that cannon? He does. Loses quite a bit of HPs. And we got that regen. I think he used his last potion. Yeah. <laughs> this is what freezing does, man. Puts you in a really annoying uh, situation. You gotta make the right call. Like, maybe his jungle can come top and he can do something. Yep, so he's gonna go for the try and push. It's not a bad strat, but... Remember, I, I, this is why I was trimming the wave. So I could hold it if I need it. Four is the min that you can have to freeze. It's the perfect number. I don't have teleport, so there's nothing I can do over here. 
We're just going to hold this freeze. Now, you could think about shoving and backing. Because I got a lot of gold. It's not a bad strat. But I can just freeze this here. Because I think I can kill him no matter what he buys. With my items that I have right now. So I want to hold it here. Force him to overextend. Like, right here, if he was here, I'd be trimming this this wave already. But since he's not here, I don't really care as much. I would trim it down to four minions. Because that is the magic number. If you're not comfortable with freezing, do five. But every additional minion that you keep kills your wave faster. Makes it even harder for you to maintain your next freeze. There we go. Ooh, Bramble. Ouch. Maybe I might not be able to kill him. Hmm. But to find out... Oh, I shouldn't even waste time into the shield. Yeah, I definitely think I can kill him. I want to trade right now, though. When his stuff's on cooldown. Ooh! I'm, like, perfect with that right now. Damn. Just outside. Nice. Get a shield out of him. Keep the wave on my side. My jungler's bought, so... Can't do too much to help. We just chilling. My wave will push back to him now, but I don't think it's likely to. Because he's just going to use abilities every time I walk up. Get a shield and his E out of him for, like, nothing. Just going to wait. Go in after. Nice little chunk. Heal that back up. Ouch. Getting shot from a million miles away by that goofball. I can just go for a shove. Ooh. No, I was so late. I was so late. I was so late. If I'm saying ooh, it means I'm probably about an hour late. There you go. Give me more aggro on that. Now he's got nothing up, though. Back it up. And we can always just back here. We have a shitload of gold. My jungle is top though. I'm fine, I got Q. Sweet! Good play, dude. Easy peasy. I just had to make sure I dodged out on both of the goofballs. The big goofball with the snowball and the other dead zombie goofball running at me like a goof. Dodge the goofs and win. That's how you play. Shove the center back. I had a shitload of gold there too, so I kind of had to let my jungler lead the way. I was just the juicy bait. The reason I didn't go back in on Nunu is I didn't want to overextend into that fight too hard. Because if I die for Nunu, I might... I might be too dumb against, like, the Scion. He might just be able to kill me. So I don't really want to give that option. Uh, I just got a big shutdown, huh? Oh, no, only 450. Never mind. Wasn't that big. Oh, come on. Shh. We're not going to talk about it. What do what door and shield? Are you kidding? I started Longsword 3 potion. Did you not see that? Rewind the video to the start. I clearly started Longsword 3. What are you talking about? Okay, perfect. He's going to go Righteous Glory next. I like it. Solid build. Get on top of me and then try and E me immediately and then land your Q. I like it. Uh, I have to outplay that by dodging the ult mainly. But he can also do that same start. Like, start that same play with E. Uh, we're going to have a bad situation where he can shove me in. I don't think I'm going to be able to trim this wave enough. We'll see, though. Oh! Bro, I chunk him. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Leave me alone! It's fucking Nunu. Holy moly. <laughs> I had to bork right there to get out. Jesus. This guy. <laughs> what a goofy champion to gank. Oh, God. Just runs at you with a giant snowball. You can't even be mad. Like, if I'm going to get ganked, I want it to be by Nunu. Everything else... Fix your hitboxes, Riot Games. It's not enough that this champion is already busted as hell. You're going to make his Q hitbox that dumb? Oh my god. He's so fast out of combat, though. 
I'm just gonna sit like this though. Zones him off of the wave. He has to use mana to get farm. Gotta walk down though, cause I'm gonna pull aggro. If you're the closest thing, the minions are gonna hit you. Oh, that was bad. Nice. It wasn't really bad. I just could have done it better. Is all. Ooh. Um. Push this in. Ooh. Stay out of tower range. I like it. We can kill this guy. Oh, I went into it. Oh. I like it. Oh, I clipped the auto. Good job, dude. Good job. Yeah, that was such an easy dive. We chunked him out so hard, and then my jungler's already in topside. Easy peasy. I like it. Push for tower. Uh oh. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. If he didn't die to them, he was going to die to Nunu. Nunu is. Nunu's doing dragon right now. Oh my god, that was like the slowest pings ever. Uh oh. I gotta get off that wall. Good thing I did. Yeah, that's why you don't want to be against a wall. I talked about this earlier on stream, but. If I'm against that wall, where can Morgana shoot? If I'm right here on the wall, Morgana can aim the bind over here, so it goes like this. That way half of it hits me, right? Because that's still going to count. It doesn't have to hit the, my full body exactly. It can hit me in my far shoulder. It can hit me in my far shoulder over here. So if I can't run down, she just has to lead it to the only side that I can run. Split me in half. And then she can't miss. That way I want to immediately run away, get in the middle. That way I have an option to dodge one away or the other. All right, sweet. Let's go and I'm gonna go like this. I just wanna get to rage blade faster this game. Oh boy. T ping. Guys like one hit. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything. I'm slow as hell. Gimme? I'll take it. I could have borked a guy earlier. I <laughs> got the movement speed. That would probably have been the, the best way to play it out. I kept saying in my head, bork, 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 bork. But my mind, or my body, didn't want to. Did I miss all three of those? Yup. Let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god, this guy! No, I don't think I want this. I want this, though. Thanks, Nunu. Appreciate the donation, bud. Oh! Nope. I'll leave him the little ones. I'm feeling generous. Alright, beautiful. 23 for my item upgrade. Once we get both of these, we're going to be proccing this super fast. If you don't understand the Rage Blade interaction with Vayne, is normally this takes three hits before you do the percent uh, HP damage. So you got to, you know, auto them three times or auto... Plus an E. Two autos and an E. Q counts, obviously, because it's just an auto attack that's empowered. So, three, and then we get the proc. Every other hit's going to do a double effect with the Rage Blade. So every other hit's going to trigger your W. So every two hits triggers versus every three. Oh, God. Oh, Nunu, you mad, son! Get the proc. Whew. Yeah, once he eat in, that was a really dumb idea. You don't want to E in unless you can guarantee win the all-in fight because you don't have an escape anymore. Push quick. I've been commentating for like 18 years. E! Oh, I flashed it. No luck. Let's back it up. I need 300 more gold for my item. Looking good. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Or do that? I don't think I finished. Trying to go for tower. They're just gonna wave clear this shit. Yeah, we don't wanna be here. We're gonna die. 
This is dumb. I'm gonna go bot. Trying to help this guy. Bye. Rest in peace to that guy. Tower. Got enough gold for my item. Clear this wave and back. Woo! Here we go, baby. Now it's on. Rage Blade plus Blade of the Rune King. Plus, you gotta remember, we're doubling the effectiveness of this thing. Oh, you just canceled it, you goofball. I don't think it's worth it. He's like worth no gold. Oh, never mind. He's three and three. What the heck? Why do I think Ezreal is doing so much worse? Because I always think of that E play in as so bad. Because it's such a goofy play to make. You're using your gap. Well, I don't know. It's not a. You're like super over aggressive. And it's like a really dumb idea. I guess he thought Nunu could defend him. But I can just ult and kill your ass. And then E Nunu away. And that's exactly what I did. But ignorance is bliss, though. I've been that Ezreal eating in, and then being like, oh, shit, I guess you kill me here. By the way, do you see that every single, or every two hits, it triggers the effect? That's what I was talking about. Stack it up, and then... Proc. 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 See the double? Very OP. Let's go top. Next item. PD, then Static Shiv, then I might get spicy at the end if I have enough gold, go like Triforce, or might just get Rapid Fire, depending on if I need the range or not. Team should be careful. Oh boy. There's a dragon coming out, let's just wait for that. I'm gonna move down in a second. I could just AFK split push here. It wouldn't be a bad strat. But I feel like we're just gonna... Ooh, okay. I feel like we might just get collapsed on, is what I was about to say. By this goofball Nunu and his snowball. Look at this guy! <laughs> yeah, we just wait on that Infernal. Get that free Infernal Drake. They already have two dragons. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't want to be here. There's three people around me. One, two, three... Four people if you count Morg. No thanks. Just gonna move toward the team. I could back and get boot upgrade here. Cause we're getting that dragon right now. Boot upgrade, let's go. 1.5 attacks per second, that's without this rage blade stacked up, that's without the lethal tempo procking. And then as the as we get more levels in the game, lethal tempo scales as well, so it goes from four oh boy. Careful, bud. He almost got dragged into a real bad fight. We can go push that bot lane. Oh, this guy again, dude. Can't see shit, bro. He's so fast. What the fuck? Look at this guy. <laughs> dude, I can just stand there and eat you. Get out. I do so much damage. Goop ball. Morg, what you doing? I can heal up really fast, too. As long as I don't get hit by a binding and die. Woo! Fancy feet! Fancy feet! Hey, Soraka. Are we best friends? Yep. Thanks, best friend, Soraka. Appreciate that. Alright, we're full HP here. Perfect! That new new. I'm like a little machine gun, dude. I just stand there, especially when I'm against the wall, because then I can add the tumbles in as well. Like, auto-tumble immediately, and if you're next to a wall, you're doing your move canceling. So instead of doing that whole distance, you're doing it into a wall. So it cuts down the time that you need to dash. Same thing with, like, any dash champion. If I'm, like, Renekton and I want damage fast, I can dash into a wall that I know I can't actually go through, right? And since, obviously, you can't tumble through walls unless you're Cutie Pie over a Dragon Pit. Uh-oh. Gotta break that tether first. Oh boy. I want this fight. Triple steal? What do you mean? Alright. I'll let him get credit for it. 
Oh boy. Saya, no! Wait. What? Okay, I think he hit a wall. Um. <clears throat> nice little play there, boys. Take him out real quick. Knock the other guy away. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Good play, dude. Woo. It's the Ari skin. It's too sexy. We're making the big plays. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot they have that. The dream has been acquired. Oh, God. Oh, I tried to eat into the wall. I fucked up. I dodged though, lol. <laughs> Whew. Let's go, baby. Run! Oh god. Oh! Not even close, right guys? Oh my goodness. 4k gold. Get me out of here. GG, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Did I double up on it? Was that the 12? Holy. I had 4k gold. I was going to get a uh, PD there. Some more, a little, a little bit more attack speed. I'll take it, though. I will take it. I'm going to give it to this guy. He made some nice plays. Some goofy plays, some scary plays, but some nice plays. I liked it. I liked it. Let's go. That Nunu scared the shit out of me the entire game. That guy nonstop came at me with that giant snowball. I think I'm going to have nightmares. I'm probably going to have nightmares about that one. Oh my god. Dude, he did so much damage too. Mechanically, I played that lane so well. Holy shit. The tumbles out of the uh, queues were so important. They kind of have to guess. Like it... If they put if they put it in the middle, I think you can actually always outplay. Think about it. If they put the Q, if Cyan goes to Q you and it's in the middle, you can always Q out. You can Q to either side because you can get out from either side. Now, if he leads it to one side or the other, you just Q to the side that he's not leading it to. So you can basically never get hit if you re respond fast enough. Now, I'm not always going to respond fast enough, neither are you. But if you do it well, you should do it more often than not be able to respond correctly. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Here's the runes. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for more content. If you're watching on stream right now, make sure to follow the stream for more content like this. And check to see if you got a free Twitch Prime sub available and redeem it right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace.